This extremely common SAT topic stumps so many people. We're told the expression above is equivalent to the product of three linear factors of the form x minus a, where a is a non-negative number. What is the greatest possible value of a? So what we have to understand is that, for example, if I have x squared minus 3x plus 2, I can factor that into x minus 1 times x minus 2. And if you look, that is because our zeros are going to be positive 1 and positive 2. Basically, when we write it as a factor, we just flip the sign. So all I have to do is plug in my equation of 2x cubed minus 42x squared plus 136x and see whatever my zeros are, right? And so if we look here, my zeros are 0, 4, and 17. So it looks like my factors are going to just be x and then I would have x minus 4 and then I'm going to have x minus 17. Those are my factors. And we can prove that by saying that they are going to touch zero at the same exact points that the actual graph does. And so what's the greatest possible value of A? The greatest one was 17, so that would be our answer.